Teddy Files. I'm your resident sommelier, Mr. Darius Teddy, and I know, I know I've been gone on a long hiatus. Had to take care of a couple of things, you know, you got to make sure that um, when you take care of your life, your health care and self-care, all of that stuff, sometimes you got to do that stuff off camera. But we're not here to talk about that. We are here to talk about 10 ones of time bangers that will get you company. So this is the kind of content that you enjoy. And also, let's not forget, I'm going to be talking about over the next couple of weeks, uh, the SOS Club. So what's the SOS Club? You will find out as I start to open it up over the next couple of weeks and getting a couple of things nailed down. But I promise you, you will know exactly what I'm talking about. So stick with me. Stay tuned. And once again, as I always say, please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, Send this to other people that you think may be interested. Helps the channel grow, everybody. So here we go with the 10 winter time bangers um, that I feel will um, get you the kind of attention that you want. Um, it has definitely gotten me great attention um, hell over the last couple of weeks ever since I started my fragrance journey. So let's get right into it. So the first one on the list, I got 10 of them right, right directly in front of me. And I'm trying to think of the right one to pull. I know the exact one to pull. So we're going to go with... Mont Blanc presses. It's gonna be hard because it's a clear bottle, but this is Mont Blanc presence. Um, so the note breakdown. Um, first of all, before I even get into that, I'll tell you what it smells like to me. This is quintessential winter, just love. Winter loveliness. That is the best way to describe it. It's a, it is sweet. It's aromatic. It's spicy. Um, look, if you want to get into the, the note breakdown, I can definitely pull it up on the computer over here so that we can definitely get into it. So we just got the note breakdown, and the note breakdown goes as such. Warm, spicy, cinnamon, aromatic, woody, powdery, fruity, vanilla, fresh, and amber. Um, that's about right. That's about what I get. Um, when I spray it, it's still in the air, everybody. And uh, Mont Blanc did a thing when they made this one. This is this is an amazing fragrance. Um, so the actual note breakdown is cinnamon, cardamom, ginger, bergamot, apple, hillthorpe, sage, tonka beans, sandalwood, white musk, amber, and teakwood. All of that comes together to give you a warm and an, an amazing, uh, spicy, definitely spicy fragrance for the winter time. And Every time I've worn this, I mean, every single time that I've worn this, I've gotten a compliment. Um, there's never been a time, and I've worn it several times. You can see some of the juice, just not a lot of them, but some of the juice. I have quite a few fragrances, so it's going to be hard for me to really even go through this bottle. But I definitely, of this one, I'm going to get a backup bottle. So um, one, of, one of the ones that I would highly recommend that you uh, get out and go get your hands on, definitely get your nose on this one, that would be Mont Blanc. The next one on the list is from uh, the brother like no other, Mr. Sean John. And I know what you guys are going to say. Come on, bro. Are you really ready to put a Sean John fragrance up? Yes, I am. I'm getting ready to put up a Sean John fragrance because this one was excellently done. And this is Sean John Unforgivable. Unforgivable. Um, this one, I have already pulled it up, so we don't have to wait for me to pull it up this time. It is sweet, fruity, woody, coconut, vanilla, warm, spicy, aromatic, patchouli, powdery, and fresh. And believe it or not, I catch I catch all of that. Um, when I, man, this is good, man. Look, is it is it a, is it a beast? Is it going to be perme permeating off your skin? Like crazy? Probably not. I mean, in the first hour, yes. That's most fragrances. But you may get a good four to six hours out of it. I know I get about six hours on my skin. Uh, it may be different on yours. I'm not sure. That, that That's a whole chemistry thing that I'm not even going to get into. What I will say is this one is a very good one. Please uh, do not sleep on it. Uh, understand that these, um, these fragrances... Some of them are hit or miss. Some of them may work with your nose. Some of them may, may not. Some of them may work with your skin. Some of them may not. But this one right here, if you want to get the kind of positive attention, uh, this is definitely one that will get it. Uh, and that's, that is uh, Sean John, Unforgivable. 
collect one on the list gets a lot of hype in the fragrance community and for good reason it is a damn good fragrance and that would be salvatore ferragamo Walmart. man that game is good yeah. all right so this one um warm spicy leather coffee fragrance aromatic vanilla citrus cinnamon sweet amber and animalic there's a lot going on there's a lot going on in this one but what i will say it is a smooth sensual fragrance this thing is so smooth i'm telling you um i sprayed it for the first time about two weeks ago um and it was just you know i was i didn't have anything on particularly you know brand or whatever you know i like to keep my fashion up keep myself dressed pretty well you know the big fellas got to do what they got to do to make things look good make things feel good because damn it we look good too but um i sprayed this and i, I honestly um I didn't I didn't smell it after about maybe a good 15 to 15 or 20 minutes and I went into the office when I got to the office man you want to talk about attention like so many there, there was at least five people five people that that might be a record for me in the office definitely that actually told me how good I smelled asking what it was and all of this and I'm sitting there like but I don't even smell it and I realized maybe about three hours later it just hit me it's like oh okay there it is now i smell it so what happened was it's strong enough to literally knock out my my senses within about 15 minutes but give my after my nose calmed down uh it, it, it hit me pretty good and this is a really good one uh, so and it's very inexpensive um you might you can get it for about 45 to 50 dollars um on um discounters fragrance net fragrance x places like that so um I highly recommend that you go out and get your hands on, get your nose on Ferragamo Roma signature. The next one on the list is one that I've actually found myself reaching for quite often. Um, I heard a lot about it. Um, I saw it in, in the stores a few times. Um, I, I didn't, you know, I didn't even think about trying to grab it at first. But then I said, you know what? I'm adding to my fragrance collection. Let me, let me, let me check this out. And man, look, I'm, I'm sorry I took so long. And that would be Dolce Gabbana's The One. You can see it in the camera. Uh, uh, camera look. Anyway. Look, you, if you're in the fragrance community, you definitely know about this one. Warm, spicy, amber, tobacco, aromatic, sweet, woody, fresh. I mean, sexy, sexy, sexy. It, we already, man, we already know what this one is. This one is a, definitely a crowd pleaser. Um, this is definitely one that's going to get you compliments. People are going to notice you when you wear this. Now, the longevity. This one is the EDT. I have the EDT as well. Um, but this one, the longevity on this one may get you four to six. Um, but when the, within the first hour, hour and a half, I know it pumps off my skin. Um, it doesn't, uh, it, I'm not going to say it's a free, it's not a CDR beast or anything like that, but it pumps enough to where people notice that I'm wearing something and it smells pretty good. So I highly recommend that you go out and get your uh, hands on and get your nose on. Don't shake your is the one. The next one on the list is a little bit on the pricey side, but I promise you, if you can get your hands on it, uh, you will, you will definitely be uh, pleasantly um, surprised and you'll definitely be happy about this one. And that would be House of Sion, HOS number four. And um, this one right here, uh, I'm, not gonna, I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm like a big ass kid. Um, I love this part. Yeah, this is, uh, you know, then you got the atomizer. It, it, it's really, oh man, the spray is good, but the fragrance, my thing, my thing. Look, if you wanna smell sexy, you wanna stand out, and you want something that is going to last, on your skin for a long time you cannot go wrong with hos number four um the fragrance note um the main accords will be citrus fresh and spicy lavender mossy earthy uh aromatic woody star and it's soft and spicy warm spicy i mean it has soft spices warm spices there's so many things that come at you later on in the fragrance it's it's a complex one but it stacks on top of stacks on top of stacks as the fragrance starts to build up on your skin and it lasts when i tell you this one will sit on your skin for a couple of hours i've gotten at least 10 to 10 to uh, 12 hours out of this one and the actual fragrance breakdown will be lavender you can smell the, the italian tangerine 
um, collaborating bergamot uh, pepper star anise you definitely get that star anise um, orange blossom oak moss patchouli vanilla all of these come together combined to give you a beautiful and sensual fragrance that I promise you will turn heads so if you get an opportunity to if you want to spend a little bit of cash I suggest that you get your hands on and get your nose on Cross the Sea Arch HOS number two. All right, so the next fragrance on the list is warm and spicy, and this one just it, it pumped off my skin so strong uh, it, to the point to where uh, it, it it almost um, knocked me out. But it wasn't a bad thing; it was actually a wonderful thing, and that would be uh, Carolina Herrera. VIP Black Red, and yes, this is a beautiful bottle. You know, look, I'm not a big fan of the color red like that, but I absolutely love this bottle. And um, you see, it has the uh, magnetic cap to it. But regardless of the color of the bottle, the magnetic cap, the fragrance itself is absolutely gorgeous. I mean, absolutely gorgeous. Look, this one right here is going to be a mainstay. I'm going to always have this in my collection. Regardless of anything else, although I love all the ones that I've already shown you and the ones that I'm about to show you, I'm going to make sure this one stays in my collection. I'm going to have several backup bottles of this one. And this one is aromatic, warm, spicy, leather, fresh, fresh, spicy, bitter, warm, animalic, and smoky. I mean, look, once again, like I said with one of the fragrances before, all I hear was sexy, 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 and sexy. That's allspice, cardamom, ginger, absinthe, um, leather, and gayak wood uh, all come together to give you this beautiful, smoky, somewhat loud, but still smooth and refined uh, fragrance that, hey, look, if you can get your hands on this one, I promise you, you will not regret it. This one is Caroline Herrera, Black Red. The next one on the list is one I found myself reaching for quite a bit lately as well. Um, this one is definitely ambery. Uh, you can smell the amber and the oud. Um, it's a really great scent. Um, it's from Toomey, and it's called Continue. Continue. And if you know anything about Toomey, they also have the, the cool tops, kind of like House of Ciliars, where you got to take the lock me locking mechanism just to get the top off. But Regardless of the gimmicks and all of that other stuff, the scent itself is absolutely amazing. Man, when it's smooth. Look, you gotta get your hand on this one. This one has amber, it's powdery, musky, iris, leather, tobacco. Ooh, fresh, spicy, sweetie, sweet, and earthy. Look, so the actual notes itself, because I'm actually looking over here on Frank Rank again. Um, bit, uh, Aldemum, amber, green mandarin. Morris root, tobacco leaf, um, cactus, suede, musk, and ar agar wood, which is, of course, oud. So all of that comes together to give you this warm, spicy, and aromatic fragrance that will definitely turn heads. Once again, this is another one. If you want to get compliments, this is definitely one you want to reach for. Now, what I will say is this, and I'm pretty sure every other fragrance reviewer has told you this, please, do not just expect someone to give you compliments just because you're wearing the fragrance that has a whole lot to do with temperament and attitude and the feeling of the person that may be around you. Sometimes you may not get one, but just know that if you put this on your skin, you're going to smell good. And that will be continued by two. So next up on the list, we're going to have a twofer, okay? So Because they're going to be from the same fragrance house. Um, because if you have a wintertime list, of something that you want to actually get attention and turn heads, you can't have a winter time list without having these two fragrances on your fragrance list. And that would be the first one would be Bizarro Wanted by Night. Uh, look, there's not a whole lot that I really need to say about this one. I mean, you got your, um, I mean, with this one, man, look, you got your cinnamon, your mandarin orange, your lavender, and lemon. Fruity notes, incense, red cedar, cumin, tobacco, vanilla, leather, cedar, benzene, and look, uh, uh, a whole host of fragrances that put together something damn near, damn near perfect. This is damn near perfection, and this is definitely a date night fragrance. If you want to get, the, you're going to get the attention of your lady, number one. That's the most important person to get your attention, is the person that's beside you. 
But of course, you want to turn heads with other people around you. You can't go wrong with this one. This one is definitely a crowd pleaser. It is a head turner. And you cannot go wrong with this one right here. That would be Azara Wanted by Night. But you already know. If you already know, you know. The next one on the list will be Azara the Most Wanted. Okay, so look. Add some talking. And um, smooth it out a little bit more. Just kind of make it just damn sexy and smooth and sensual and damn near tasty. And you got this fragrance right here. Okay. Um, you have your toffee note. You got your vanilla note. Uh, I mean, with this one, you got your cardamom, your toffee, your amberwood. Look, this fragrance right here is blended to perfection. You want to turn heads if you are into gourmand fragrances that smell like you can all damn near taste it this is definitely one so i would suggest that you get your hands on you get your nose on azaro most wanted so last but not least on the list we have one of my absolute favorite fragrances everybody look um this one will knock you on your off your feet i promise you um and that will be op 9 9 p.m look if you want something sweet, sensual, sexy, vanilla, uh, has an apple note, uh, you can't go wrong. You cannot go wrong with off 9, 9 p.m. Um, it's not expensive. It's not expensive at all. As a matter of fact, I just got a backup bottle over there. That one's about, it's about $32 right now on discounters. Um, you might want to go out there and get yourself a bottle right now. Just in, with, the, with the smell. Look, beautiful, beautiful, beautifully blended fragrance. Um, ladies, if you get this for your man for Christmas or whatever holiday you celebrate, he's gonna love you. He, he won't, y'all. He's not gonna love you because of the fragrance. But I'm telling you, he's gonna be extremely happy with this purchase. So I'm just letting you know right now, this one right now is a hype beast in the fragrance community, and that's for a reason. Because it's a damn good fragrance so if you want to smell extremely sexy and sensual and you want to turn heads now if you're not into sweet fragrances do not buy this but if you're definitely into something sweet and sensual it will definitely turn the heads of most of the people around you you cannot go wrong with off now well that's my time for today everyone and these are my 10 fragrances that you need to get in your collection to turn heads now once again like i said if you definitely want to turn the heads of other people it's not just about what you smell like it's about what you feel like how you move who you are all of those types of things own the person that you are and you can own these fragrances i'm gonna tell you right now don't let the fragrance wear you you wear the fragrance so once again everybody like share and subscribe to the teddy files and be prepared coming soon the sos club I will be talking more about it over the next coming next few coming weeks. But once again, that's my time. Please, everyone, like like the channel, hit that subscribe button, hit the share button, let everybody know about what we got going over here. And once again, my name is Mr. Dierris Teddy, and I do not do stink. So please, don't be a stink.